it's Yosh and this is A Sailor in the Making, Tallulah May. For six years now, we've been sailing around the world on our 40-foot sailboat, Nanji. Subscribe to the channel and join us as we sail through remote Indonesia. Would you hold me if I told you we can just run away? So come, my darling, let me help you. We can follow. Oh, good morning, world. Yes, that is something new on Nanji. We are turning fancy with our little coffee plunger. <laughs> no more instant coffee around here. Oh, what a morning. So today is the biggest swell to hit the islands. And the anchorage in here is normally super dead flat, glassy, calm. Um, we've been in here when it's been blowing 30, 40 knots and it's been dead calm. But there is a pretty high tide and then just such a large swell. It's a little bit rolly in here. It was meant to really pick up through the night and looking out at the reefs, it does look like there's a little bit more wave action, but it's still not looking ginormous. We'll have our bloody coffees, <laughs> and we'll go through and have a look at the wave, because I reckon it's going to be huge. excitement we charged Flubber through to the wave on the other side of the mangroves. The swell had definitely arrived. It wasn't mega but more manageable and a super fun size. We had chosen the right place to be. The ladies hung out on one of the many charter vessels in the bay as I went surfing for a pretty large portion of the morning. Surfing is one hard sport to film well with a large crowd and a busy baby but trust me it was a morning to remember. This beach is covered in hermit crabs. And so of course we have to have a hermit crab race, right? I'm gonna I put them all in my hat and uh, let's see who wins. Here they come. Oh, there's a big guy coming out. Dang, dang, dang. Wow, the little ones are faster than the big ones. Here comes big stomper. Wow, look at that Tallulah. This little guy. He's the winner! He's the winner! We're tucked away in this beautiful little anchorage here and uh, there currently is a massive swell that's happening. Yosh has had his fair share of surfs I think so it's time for the family to um, go and do some exploring and have some fun. There's a beautiful chain of mangroves just over here and um, they're absolutely spectacular so we're going to take you through there see if we can't find any fish and another thing is we found out yesterday that a crocodile was spotted in there. Us Aussies do, we, we're curious, we have to go and poke the bears. <laughs> no, we're just gonna go and have a look around and see if we can't find it. Just staying true to our Australian nature. Let's go crocodile hunting. <laughs> crocodile so I guess for me the best way to look for this crocodile is to go where people don't normally take their boats um, so yeah I think we're gonna have to go deep deep 
into the mangroves, deep into the jungle. Ah, where's the crocodile? Let's go. What's the crocodile called? What's the croc called to Lula? Snappy. Snappy! <laughs> Snappy Tom. Where's the crocodile? Lula bug. <laughs> if you were a crocodile, where would you be? <laughs> this crocodile business is really hot, so we're just gonna have a swim here. Um, there's no crocs around here, we can see everything, so we're all good, we're nice and safe. How's the drop off? Yeah, this is Sick. epic. The water is so clear here, it's incredible. Yeah, Bubba, does that look inviting or what? How cool does that look? Who wants to jump in there? <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly jump in. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Mum's a bit silly, isn't she? Your mum's a bit silly. <laughs> Just doing a little bit of beach foraging while we're on land here. And one of the big things is there are a lot of really dangerous snakes on some of these islands. So you always have to keep a watch out for any snake tracks and just try, if you see any, just avoid that area. Yeah, I found these uh, sea urchins, dried up sea urchins, and there's heaps of them on this beach. There's heaps of big shells and um, yeah, lots of cool stuff to, to find. We are near um, reef, a lot of reef as well, so if there are any snake tracks near the water, that's more likely gonna be sea crates, but there also can be very dangerous, like cobras. There's heaps of um, soft corals. Oh. Yeah, I wanna find a nice big clam. That's what I'm looking for. Nice big clam shell. Cool. We're just banging around through the through these mangroves. It is high tide, so you can go pretty fast everywhere too. The water's crystal clear, so you can just see your track. But uh, I don't think we're finding this crocodile. Oh, look at the mullet. I don't think we're finding this crocodile. It's like a needle in a haystack. I guess there's a reason why crocodiles are still around, because they are stealthy. But it's a good excuse just to come and have a little explore and have a little kick around through the mangroves and see all the fishies for Tallulah. Lots of mullet, lots of trevally, lots of little mangrove jacks. Oh, look at that big mullet. Wow, look at the long toms. Look at all the long toms. Can you see them? Wow. There's just so many like little pathways and tracks through the mangroves. We'll be out here all day doing this for weeks, I think, trying to find the crocodile. So mangroves are like a little ecosystem. Um, they're a nursery for baby fish. So the fish will come and have their spawn amongst the mangroves and it's like a little shelter where they grow up and become big fish and then they go out into the big blue. And, and that's why they're so important. Yeah, so you can see a lot of little babies swimming around learning how to be fish, which is pretty epic. Look at these. But somewhere amongst this beautiful nursery is uh, 
a crocodile that's having a feast. <laughs> the entrance is rowdy. We're just gonna put everything in a waterproof bag before yeah. we take on that. Here we go, here's the white water rapids. Wait. You wouldn't believe it. We just like we this never happens. We've run out of fuel. We're just on our way back to the boat and how much Oh the wind's against us. Yeah. Because of the angle of how it sits in the tender, like it doesn't use all the tank. Oh that's awesome. Alright, well. But so like we still got fuel, we just need to unstrap the tank and light it up. Plenty of fuel now. The bulb's hard. Just had to get into that corner of the tank. There's still probably a litre of juice in there, but I've just overcranked it. Now she won't start. We're not far away from Nanji. The problem is that the wind and the current are blowing us the other way. So even if we tried to row to her, we're just getting pushed backward. Through these mangroves, there's a resort. So we're, we're just thinking we'll go in um, through the mangroves. So you never let the fuel tank get down the last little bit because it's just full of gunk and crap. So we went back through the mangroves, ended back at the Macaroni's Resort. Cheers, Snakey, thanks to them. Guys, just gave us a little bit of clean fuel and so chucked five litres in, pumped out all the dirty shit through the lines. We are just running on straight unleaded at the moment, so uh, give it a good cleaning. Ready to open her up and then get back to the boat, eh? And I'll put some oil in. us on this journey guys we hope that we put a smile on your face that's what it's all about if you do enjoy our videos please consider becoming a patreon we are crowdfunded for as little as three dollars a month it helps us keep filming and floating you get exclusive access and also early access to our content as well so please consider that i'll put a link in the description below and a huge thank you to our newest patrons that have jumped on board we have helen or helene uh john and judith Gracida, Tom, SB Frieder, David and Jane as well. So welcome aboard guys, we appreciate you so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.